Hello everyone, my name is Vishwa. Today we are going to discuss about connectors in software architecture. What is connectors? Connectors are a part of model elements and connectors are the pathways between two components. We will be having different components in a software system. Uh, one component is going to interact with the other component using the connectors. Uh, connectors will be used in interaction between these components and also they will specify the rules uh, with which they are going to interact with each other. Uh, they can be represented as either types or instances. Why do we need connectors? Connectors will separate the computation part with the interaction part so that it will be easy for everyone to handle the systems. They perform the hard work of allowing components to interoperate with each other. Uh, for example, one component will be uh, using some data from the other component, then connectors will be placing a very useful role in that. Uh, they handle things like broadcasting events to components, synchronization, replication, etc. And uh, connectors are also helpful in system analysis and testing. Different types of connectors will be having local procedure calls in which uh, procedure calls will be within the same block. Remote procedure calls where a uh, call will be from one block to the another block. As well, sometimes we need uh, data from database, so SQL will be a, uh, useful as a, uh, SQL will be used as a connector which will retrieve data from SQL databases. Pipes where will be having two different components and one component will be uh, uh, one component will be used as a source and the other component will be used as a destination. Shared memory where will be having a memory shared location which will be used by both the components and even broadcast enterprise bus and data drops. Different properties, common properties of connectors are performance, security, reliability, synchronous and asynchronous delivery. Synchronous delivery in which uh, data will be transferred within the same part of time. Asynchronous delivery is like when all the destination is ready then the data will be passed. Delivery guarantees will be there, compression and buffering. Compression is like uh, sometimes data will be too much so it will be compressed using the connectors and then it will send it to destination. Different roles of connectors. Connectors will be used as communicators, coordinators, conversions and facilitation. We will we'll, we'll be seeing it. Connectors as communicators. It supports different communication mechanisms like message passing. Supports constraints on communication. Sometimes we need constraints like data will be passing only from one component, this component to only this component. So we will be using pipes in which data will be flowed in only one direction. Supports constraints on quality of service. Connectors as coordinators. Uh, it's like determine it determines computation control, controls delivery of data. Connectors as converters. It's it mismatches based on interactions. It's like sometimes one component will be uh, calculating data with in cages, but the other component will be having it in LBs. So connectors will just convert the cages to LBs. NMA and bus connectors. Most connectors are like binary and allow only uh, two components to communicate. So it's like component A to component B and other connectors can be NMA that have three or more roles. It's like uh, it will be communicated with various components. Examples of NMA connectors would be published and subscribe or even bus. It's like even bus is like uh, it will be connected to different different components and any component from the bus can communicate with the other, com other components. Goal connectors. The goal connector has an assigned goal or objective. It's like the connector will be having a specified goal and with that goal it is responsible for achieving that goal. These connectors tend to be complex and have a lot of real domain work to do. Domain connectors. Domain connectors are basically a product of treating components as domain. It's like till now we have used uh, this component and this component separately but now, right now we are treating component A as one single domain and component B as another domain and interactions will be gonna between these two domains. Making connectors simple hurts cohesion and increase coupling. Coupling is like if one thing changes the other thing sh should be completely changed. I mean compulsorily it will change. That will be coupling. Uh, two good strategies for mitigating this is to assign goals to connectors. It's like the previously we discussed goal, goal connectors so all the 
uh, disadvantages using this, we can mitigate this with assigning goals to connectors and using connectors to bridge domains. Thank you.